The air-launched version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile was successfully test-fired from an Su-30 MKI fighter jet on the 8th of December, clearing the path for serial production. An Indian Defense Ministry statement said, The launch is a major milestone in the BrahMos development. It clears the system for the serial production of air version BrahMos missiles within the country. During the test, the structural integrity and functional performance have been proven. The test was conducted at 10.30 hours from integrated test range Shandipur off the coast of Odisha. In this copybook flight, the missile launched from the aircraft followed the pre-planned trajectory meeting all mission objectives, the ministry said. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the start of serial production of BrahMos A by India is very bad news for China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. China has stepped up its underwater forays in the Indian Ocean region IOR, especially in the Bay of Bengal. The frequency of submarine patrols by the PLAN or People's Liberation Army Navy has increased significantly in the last few years. Chinese ships have often been spotted gathering information in the Bay of Bengal. This indicates that China wants to expand its sphere of influence in these waters like it's done in the South China Sea. The People's Liberation Army Navy is expanding fast, and its warships are getting bigger. Its latest class of destroyer, the Type 055, is an example of China's growing naval might. To counter this, in January 2020, the Indian Air Force commissioned the 222 Tiger Sharks Squadron, consisting of modified Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets in Thanjavur armed with BrahMos A missiles. The Specialist Squadron that has a maritime role is also known as the Dominator of the Indian Ocean region. Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is the backbone of the Indian Air Force, and it has around 200 of these. It's a twin-seater, twin-engine fighter developed by Russian aircraft maker Sukhoi and licensed built in India by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. It has abilities similar to the Sukhoi Su-35, with which it shares many features and components. Su-30 MKI is a multi-role fighter capable of executing both air-to-air -air and air-to-land attack missions. It's interesting to note that the MKI version of Su-30 includes Israeli and French avionics. For example, the aircraft is fitted with a French-made heads-up display system, an Israeli's-made electronic warfare system, and an advanced targeting pod. A squadron of Su-30 MKI will consist of 18 fighters. BrahMos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinistroyanya. It's powered by a ramjet engine. BrahMos is currently considered one of the most deadly cruise missiles in the world. The reason is its unique features. 1. It has a supersonic speed of Mach 3, or 1 km per second, 
providing very little time to intercept. 2. BrahMos uses a 300 kilogram or 660 pounds semi-armor piercing warhead and also has very high kinetic energy since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of velocity. BrahMos actually has about nine times the kinetic energy of conventional subsonic missiles like Tomahawk. The combined destructive force of massive warhead and kinetic energy is lethal for even the biggest surface warships and bunkers. BrahMos has been known to break ships in half in several tests. 3. It can perform S maneuvers in the final stages of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line, making it very hard to intercept. 4. There are lots of redundancies in the guidance system, right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS, and Gagan, making it hard to jam. 5. The accuracy of around one square meter makes it apt for a precision strike on high-value targets. BrahMos A, or AIR, is a modified variant of its basic configuration and specifically designed for air launch. It features several design refinements, which include a lighter propulsion system, weight reduction to 5,500 pounds, 2,500 kilograms, from 6,600 pounds, or 3,000 kilograms, as well as redesigned fins and nose cap. In January 2014, IAF placed an order to HAL for the integration of the BrahMos onto the SU-30 MKI. Though BrahMos A is lighter than the original BrahMos, it's still a heavy missile and integration with a fighter aircraft was met with many technical challenges. For example, the underbelly weapon station of SU-30 MKI was strengthened. On June 25, 2016, a modified Indian Air Force Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircraft carried a BrahMos A. This was the first time in the world that such a heavyweight supersonic cruise missile was integrated on a fighter aircraft. China's defense budget is approximately five times that of India. In the report submitted to Congress annually, the Pentagon has stated the PRC has the largest navy in the world with an overall battle force of approximately 350 ships and submarines, including over 130 major surface combatants. In comparison, the U.S. Navy's battle force is approximately 293 ships as of early 2020. India can't match China platform to platform and needs asymmetric warfare to take on the Chinese Navy. This is where Sukhoi-30 MKI and BrahMos-A combo comes into play. The Tiger Shark Squadron will be lurking in the Indian Ocean region with the deadly armament to knock out Chinese surface combatants. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.